Today we're going to show you how to change out a light fixture because it's one of the easiest home improvement projects you can do. It'll save you a lot of money and it's going to improve the look and value of your home. So follow me. One of the things that intimidates most people about working with electricity is that you can't see it. So until you understand electrical theory, make sure that you locate and turn off the appropriate electrical circuit every time. And to be extra safe, turn off the switch to that light fixture. So the first thing we gotta do is take out the old fixture. Then simply pull out the wires and unscrew the wired up connectors. And now all we need to do is unscrew the fixture mount from the bracket. This is sometimes made easier by unscrewing the nipple while holding the fixture mounting nut. Remove the instructions and all parts included in the packaging. Then be sure to read the instructions. They're different for every fixture. I have a Phillips head screwdriver. Always remove the old mounting bracket so that you can install the one included with your new fixture. So we want to identify our outlet box screws. It looks like from the diagram that they are the shorter ones, which are right here. So grab those. The outlet box screws go here and here. So now we need to take these mounting screws, the longer ones, and screw in through this mounting strap to hold our fixture base in place through these two slotted connections here and here. So we want, to leave, we want to leave these hanging down just a little bit like that so that we can set our base to it. We want to leave it hanging a little bit. So we have these really easy connectors nowadays. All you have to do is plug your black, your hot wire into the black connector like so. And your white connector so for this next part we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and some needle nose pliers to secure the grounding wire we first need to loosen the ground terminal screw located on the mounting bracket so basically you take your needle nose pliers you grab pretty close to the end of this wire and you just roll it clockwise, 180 degrees. And that way, when you connect it here, you hook this terminal screw, and hook that terminal. And then the reason why we bend it that way is as we tighten it clockwise, if anything, it'll close that loop instead of opening it. You tuck our wires up in the box. And kind of all we can really do here is eyeball this mounting screw and where it's going to come through this sliding connector. And then we'll turn it to lock it in so we can let it go for now. So we have a nipple here now that is going to attach the, the glass cover. So we screw that in here. 
But now we're ready to install our cover or light diffuser. And simply screw the finial on. And it looks like, to me, so that's maxed out right there. We need to screw in our nipple a little bit more so that we get a nice tight connection. So what that means is we need to loosen this nut, stopper nut, so that we can screw this in further. Now we're ready to set the finish. All right, I hope we've been able to provide some useful information for you in order to gain some confidence in your next home improvement project. Good luck.